a long time no see like i ain't really been like with my youtube videos this year like i said i would because i said i was gonna be back i was like i may be back and better in 2020 but you know but all this corona and stuff going on i've been bored in the house not doing nothing so i think i'm gonna start making more videos but today's video is gonna be um baguette. Ten hours later. Oh, it is right in front of me. Today's video I'm gonna be doing a mukbang. I think this is my first mukbang. Yeah, this is my first mukbang on this channel. I had a seafood boil one, I think. And if you didn't see that video make sure you go check it out and um yeah make sure you like comment share this video and subscribe and follow all my social medias in the description down below and yeah so i'm gonna tell a story because that's how the mukbang thing work but yeah but while i'm prepping and stuff for all that how y'all been like this coronavirus is just it's getting real. Like, no joke. Like, I hope all y'all staying safe and staying in the house, not going out unless you really have to and stuff. But yeah, I got some Zaxby's, y'all. And what I got was, I got some fries and I got them three nibblers with Zax sauce on it. And did y'all know that Zaxby's they charge 25 cent for extra sauce. I never knew that, but if you knew that, comment down below. And I also got a milkshake from Cookout, because you know, Cookout got the best milkshakes besides Chick-fil-A. I don't know. Well, who y'all think better? Who y'all think got the best milkshakes? Cookout or Chick-fil-A? I think it's Cookout. But anyway, and I got a um, drink from Zaxby's. I got a Strawberry. I, I got strawberry fanta. A strawberry fanta. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the story. So today's story, I will be talking about my freshman year, like how it been so far and stuff. Because I didn't get to finish it, but I still passed and. If y'all know, I had made a um a freshman orientation vlog and it was pretty cool. Like I was happy to be a high school. Like I was just happy to be in high school. Like I'm in ninth grade. Three more years and I'm out. So basically the night before school I could not sleep. I was just so happy. Like, I was just so happy. Like, I feel like when you go to high school, it's like the biggest moment of your life. You could you run high school, but I don't know. But then comes the morning of taking a shower, you know, getting all ready, getting all cute. This year, I feel like my hairstyle was too childish. I don't know. Now that I look back on it, I feel like it was too childish. But I mean, it was something different. Like, I wouldn't like to be like these other girls who get sew-ins and stuff. Because I only get sew-ins unless I have to. Like, for cheer and stuff. And then we get into that part of the story. But like, yeah. I only get sew-ins for like that. I try to say the bundles unless I really need them. So, 
is the day of school or whatever. So I used to have a crush on this boy, but I'm not gonna say his name. I used to have, I used to have a crush on this boy from orientation. But as soon as I saw him at orientation, I was like, oh my God, he's cute. Like, he's cute. And he was chill. Like he didn't, he didn't, he wasn't like them wild looking boys and all that stuff. So I had a crush on him or whatever. So I was talking to my friend. I was telling her, all is done the third. Comes to find out, I was talking to her, like I was talking to her about him or whatever. And so she was talking to me about his friends. It was like, oh yeah, and imagine they both play football. So you know, us two, we would go to all the games. We go to all the games. So, um, she was like, what she was like? Oh yeah, so we were talking about him or whatever. And comes to find out, first day of school, I'm downstairs taking pictures. Like my mom out there taking pictures, my dad out there taking pictures. And like we're starting to go to the bus stop. And I see him walking. And I'm just like, like I froze in the middle of my pictures. Like I don't even know if I got them, like if they took them because they were just snapping and stuff. So like I froze and I was like, I said my friend, I said, oh my God, girl, he live around here, I was in the third. And then I was like, oh my God, I was so scared. Like we got on the bus or whatever. And so my other friend, which is, he, he's a boy or whatever. So he was on the bus and I had told him like who my crush was. And he was sitting like right behind, like not right behind me, but like a few seats behind me, my crush or whatever. So he was like right there. So I was lunch like I was scratching down in his seat like so he couldn't see the back of my head and know nothing like so then I told my friend about it or whatever and he was like hey yo she right here like he was yelling on the bus like it was so embarrassing so I was laughing and everything like I was blushing real hot so we get off the bus like I ran off the bus because like I'm not trying to be seen like I was not expecting him to like see me this early in the morning but even though like i feel like you look your best in the morning like then at the end of the day you just you just don't even care no more so like yeah i'm not trying for him to see me right now so that's that happened on the first day of school on the second day of school i think i wore a dress and i wasn't as scared anymore or oh, i was i don't know but then it comes to find out on the second day of school, I had a class with him. Now, that's where everything got crazy. Like, I was, like, nervous because, like, that was, like, the longest class ever. And we had lunch together. Like, we had a lunch together. But we didn't sit with them. So, like, I was so scared. Like, it was so scary, y'all. Like, y'all ever know, like, y'all got a crush and then, like, you're scared to tell them you like them. But they kind of know you like them. Like, yeah, something like that. Anyway. So, fast forward, all of them, we, um, we end up never getting together, my way out. So, we didn't never get together, so, it was this other dude, he was in 10th grade, and he liked me. And y'all, y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know I never went with nobody, like, above my grade level. So, I was like... I always went with people in my grade level. So I, I was like, okay, I might try it out. I might try it out. I might try it out. And I tried it out. And like, that's a whole nother story to tell. So like, I'm not even going to tell the story about that relationship or whatever. But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, fast forward or whatever, whatever. So this 10th grade boy, he liked me or whatever. So like, I was talking. We was off and on for like a very long time. Like a very long time. Like, <laughs> like a very long time. But anyway. So um, I got close to his mama or whatever. The 10th grade mama. I can put his name in there anyway. But um, I got close to his mama. Like shout out to his mama. Like she's my second mama. Like oh my god. I love her so much. And his little brother. That's my baby. Anyway. So Yeah. And I had made the cheer team back when I was in eighth grade or whatever, cause like we found out before, um, so we can practice and stuff. And so he, the tenth grader, plays um basketball and football. So mind you, I was going to all his games, you know, 
Let's go to all his games, support, and all that stuff. After workouts, I would go straight to his game, me and my friend. Because, you know, me and my other friend. My other friend, Jade. So, me and her will go to the games or whatever. And we'll go see them play. Because her, her boyfriend also played football. So... <laughs> Y'all just drink good with the Zach sauce. I'm gonna drink these snacks. Let me put you on. Let me put you on. I broke my nail, y'all. I broke my thumb. And I broke this one. But this one's still on. I need to take this one off. And I can't even get them done because all the shops closed. But the lady who did my nail. I need her from the man. But anyway, so yeah, we go to the game, Dodo. I'm gonna see them play. And um, fast forward to basketball season. Um, fast forward to basketball season. He 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 got moved up for football because our football players they were still going like in the playoffs and stuff. They had beat this very good team that been like state champs for like four times in a row like yeah they had beat them so they kept going in the playoffs and stuff and they had went to like the playoff before the championship game and they had lost but it's okay but yeah he was practicing with them and he got in a few like he got in like a few times in the game on varsity he's only in tough grade so yeah he had got in or whatever so like he couldn't play like football season and basketball season kind of like tied up together because it was basketball season like it was basketball season and football was still going because they had playoffs and stuff so so like um he couldn't play basketball but he would still come to the games like at the practice and stuff and um at first he thought he wasn't going to be able to play basketball but he did so he came to the scrimmage or whatever, and mind you, I cheer. So like I was looking all nervous and stuff because I never told him that I couldn't cheer today because I couldn't I couldn't cheer today because of my grades. Like if your grade like if you got a D, you can't cheer. Like you gotta have a C. Like even if it be like a C minus, like you still can cheer. But like if it's like a D plus, like a, a sixty nine or something or whatever the grade in there, oh baby, you sitting on that bench the whole game. <laughs> So you gotta make sure your grades good with them. So that's yeah, my grades was always good. Like at the end of the semester, like my semester grades, I had A's and B's and like one C. And like yeah, just for that was for the first semester. But now we couldn't get to finish the second semester. So anyway, yeah, that was that. So he ended up coming to the game. And yeah, I talked to him or whatever after JV game was gone while varsity was playing. I had talked to him or whatever. And what else? Oh yeah. So we got new uniforms, y'all. In the season, like we didn't get like new new uniforms, but like, we got a new skirt. And them skirts is cute, honey. So like, yeah, we got a new skirt, brother. And he was like He played, I cheer every like Tuesdays and Fridays. That's how it was. And I'm gonna tell y'all the time that he made me mad. Now that's a different story. I ain't gonna tell y'all that. I ain't gonna tell y'all that. I ain't gonna tell y'all that. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all that. But um. Yeah. I'm not sure I ain't leaving nothing out. No. Nah. I ain't leaving nothing out. So, um. Hey, I'll see my baby picture. <laughs> and me when I was a baby. But I feel like that's pretty much it. That's all my. If I'm leaving something out. Oh, yes. I'm leaving something out. But I really don't, I don't know. I really don't want to speak on it. 
because it's irrelevant. It was just basically like I almost got into a fight. But that time, I mean, that really ties into my ninth grade year, but it's also a different story because it's a long story. So I don't know if I should tell it in this one or I should tell it in my last one. I might, I mean, I'm going to tell it in my next one. All right, if y'all want to see that, make sure y'all like give me 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers for that, that story time. How I almost, I almost got into a fight with these two girls. It was me, my best friend. And this other girl, my other friend, her name Nakaya. And we was ready to get in a fight with these two girls because they wanted to fight me. But my two friends wasn't going to let that happen. So, anyway, if y'all want to see that, give me to 100 subscribers. And um, that's pretty much it for my ninth grade year. It was fun, cool. Like, I had, um, the school I go to is outside school. So, like, it be cold sometimes, raining sometimes, but, like, it be fun. Like, a lot of fights, of course, like. Nothing bad happened to the school. Nobody, like, did nothing extremely crazy at the school. Well, they did, like, people. It was videos going around, y'all. Like, people on top of the buildings. Like, how do y'all get all the way on top of the buildings? Like, anyway, yeah, that's a different story. Y'all, cheer season, I feel like was the best season, the best part of my ninth grade. Like, it was so much fun. Like, I'm, I'm glad, I'm not glad it's over, but, like, I'm glad it was over before all this happened. Because I know if it wasn't, we would, uh, we wouldn't be able, like, to cheer. And I would have been mad because, like, cheer is life. Like, they was just so it was so nice. Like, everybody was so, like, we really had that bond. But yeah, I feel like that's it for the store. I ain't even finished eating my food. Like, I can't talk and eat at the same time. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like that's it. Make sure y'all stay safe. Don't go out the house unless you have to. So we can increase, I mean not increase. <gasps> so we can decrease the number of coronavirus cases. And yeah. So I'm gonna see y'all in the next video or whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh.